What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Well, there's nothing really there right now, but there will be soon. Because I want to roll up to the Barbie cafe and be like, yeah, I'm in the Barbie world. Maybe we can make a multi-purpose Barbie box room. Well, you know how I love reusing Barbie packaging. To make quick backdrops, we can totally use them to make box rooms too. I like this little pink and blue ocean scene that we're getting with these dolls. We reviewed them in a recent Random Doll Stuff video. When I'm trying to hang on to the packaging, I make sure to carefully open the box, separate the sides, tape down the cuts, give them a little trim, then I glue them onto a 20 inch wide piece of foam board. I glue hot pink scrapbook paper across the bottom. Let's take another piece of foam board. I cut it to 12 by 20 inches and cover it with scrapbook paper. I thought this gave a nice little beach vibe. I cut the leftover foam board into half inch strips. I cut 12 and a quarter by 16 inch rectangles for the sides. I cover them with scrapbook paper. I did two different shades of pink. On the darker pink, cut stones out of foam board and glue them on until the whole board is covered. Now we can begin gluing the box room together. I start with the back wall and the floor, followed by the side walls. You know what? I think I want to keep this side wall removable. So let's take this planner's box we made for our old doll pool and glue it to the back. I cut the side panels off of a Barbie the Movie box, glue them on to the foam board, frame them with strips of foam board to make an outside wall. The plants help this wall to stand up. The base is pretty heavy. There are even rocks inside. So we can just place it near the room when we want to close off this space. Use those strips of foam board we cut earlier for baseboards and to frame the pictures on the back wall to finish this space. I love our stone wall. It is totally Barbie the movie. The outside wall reminds me of the Barbie cafe. We got to recycle some packaging, which I love, and create a pretty neutral space. Perfect for showcasing Barbie stuff. This is the Barbie make and sell boutique. I bought it on Amazon a while ago for $39.99. And I just checked this morning and it's on sale for $31.99. It says we can make 150 plus creations. It says make and sell your own designs. There are 46 stickers that we can place on doll clothes and accessories. Let's take everything out of the box. There is a shop display. There's a little clear counter or table. It does say Barbie on it. This is where we check out. I love this. It looks like wood paneling. It says Barbie. There's a register. The top can move. A little card reader. I guess we can tap right there and it is removable. Then we have a rack in the back with two little hooks. There's a work table. Ooh, I love the counter. And I love that the legs are gray. There's a little device on the top for adding graphics to the t-shirt. There are foil sheets, an included doll. She has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. She has brown hair with a side part, brown eyes, and a pink lip color. Her face screening looks really good. It's not pixelated. She comes wearing a dress with printed overalls, a printed rainbow shirt, a printed name badge, and a printed fanny pack. And some of the print continues onto the back. And she comes with white sneakers. Even though her face screening is very clean, personally, I could do without a doll with the basic five points of articulation. Just give me the clothes and more accessories. But that's just me. So, um, if you don't mind, come with me and allow your replacement to take over. Okay. Where were we? There is a paper bag. Inside, we have a purple shopping bag. And we can cut some of that paper bag and put it inside 
to look like tissue paper. There's a little tool for smoothing out stuff. I think it goes right here. We have another bag. This one is pink. Then another pink bag, a yellow baseball cap, blue visor, three doll pencils, a turquoise sleeveless top, a pink striped tank top, two silver hangers that we can place on the display. There's a little bank card. Love that. So the dolls can pay for stuff. Now wouldn't that be nice? And stickers. I see a disco ball, hearts, donuts, a cactus, girl power. I was hoping we were gonna get like the Barbie logo, but no. There are instructions that give us a step-by-step -step on how to use the t-shirt device. And right here it says the decals are reusable, which I think is kind of cool. I was a little worried that if I tried to make a shirt and messed up, I would be stuck with it, but no. We can remove them according to the instructions. So let's grab a shirt off the rack, pull this part up, add the shirt. I made sure it was straight across the bottom. Flip this back over until it clicks. Mm, might need two hands. Oh, there we go. Pick out a sticker. I'm going with the disco ball. Then remove the film. Place it onto the shirt. Yeah, right about there, I'm guessing. Trying to get it center. Yeah, let's go with that. Watch that still be crooked. Use the little tool and go over it five times. So that was one, two, three, four, five. We're following instructions, y'all. Then peel off the film. Yeah, we did it. Pick out one of the little sheets, place it on the shirt, color side up. Use the tool to go over it three times. So that's, <gasps> no, 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 I'm messing this up. Okay. One, two, three. I'm guessing you need to be kind of gentle. Then remove the paper to see the design. Ah, look at that. We did it. Now we can remove it. Take off the shirt so our dolls can enjoy some custom designs. There is a little shiny outline around the design, but I'm looking at several angles and for the most part, it's not too bad with my lighting. Let's try again because we know what we are doing now. And it is kind of fun to sit here and make my own t-shirts. We're going with Dream Big this time on the pink striped shirt. One, two, three, four, five. Peel it off without shaking the whole table. Let's try the pink foil. We're gonna place it onto the shirt with the color side facing up. Gently smooth it out three times. Then remove the paper to reveal our design. Not too bad. I did get a few little bubbly spots, but that was totally operator error. The instructions did say these are reusable. So let's see if we can peel it off. Oh, we can. And it's actually, it's kind of easy. Yeah, it just comes off. Then we can place it onto one of the bags. Trying to be careful to make sure everything's lined up. Oh, I think I messed up the design a little bit. I did! I scratched it! So you do need to be careful because if you uh, scratch it, it just it comes off. But when not in use, I think we can place our designs back on the sticker paper. Yeah! So if you're careful, you can reuse them again and again. Ooh, there's gold paper. It's kind of like a golden iridescent. Okay, so I need to know, are there going to be refills? because we could use them to customize other Barbie accessories. But even without the t-shirt maker, I like the little shop setup. I like the design and the little bank card is adorable. Thank you for joining us while we made a doll background and checked out the Barbie Make and Sell Boutique. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at 
My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.